ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kevin Jackowitz, this is The Cage Review, and this is my spoiler review for Bird Box. Bird Box, I was talking about in my non-spoiler review, kind of vaguely, because it's a non-spoiler review. Um, but there, I said that there were certain things about this movie that just didn't sit right with me, and it should have been a much better movie than it was. You have a hell of a cast here. You've got Sandra Bullock, who I love, uh, John Malkovich, who I love, B.D. Wong, who I love, Rosa Salazar, who's... Uh, leading the new Alita Battle Angel movie coming out very soon. And Machine Gun Kelly, I've never seen him act before, so it really didn't do much for me either way. Little Ray Howery, who was decent. Um, but in being decent, most of these characters did not add much to the movie. Sandra Bullock was 90% of this movie, John Malkovich being the other 10%, I think. Um... The issue I have with this movie is very simple. You start out with Sandra Bullock, she's got two kids, you assume they're hers, and she starts out right away. We have to do this, this is how it has to be done, you have to listen to me or you're going to die. So you know there's major stakes in this already. Uh, and then you flash back to how this all started, and there's these creatures that show up from somewhere, doesn't really specify, and if you see them, they somehow control your mind and get you to kill you, or they control your mind and get you to get others to look at things or they control your mind and just have you kind of wander around aimlessly uh... The, it's not very direct on exactly what's going on and that's a major issue with this the other major plot hole in this two things kind of go together one the world just starts going crazy right off the bat but there's no moment of genuine hysteria. There's no moment where people are watching their loved ones die and just losing their goddamn minds. Uh, everybody just seems to accept what's happening way too fast and way too easily. And that's a problem with me. Like, you have a literally world cataclysmic event, and I'm sorry, there's going to be some people just losing their shit. Especially when he watches his wife burning to death in a car. Uh, that's just how it goes. Even Sandra Bullock, when she watches her sister get plowed over by a truck, or whoever she was, I, I'm guessing sister, um, you know, there was no real reaction there. That's the first big problem I have with it. The second big problem I have with it is way too conveniently everybody just seems to know what's happening out of the blue no explanation no scientific involvement somehow these creatures come everybody starts killing themselves and everybody just instantly knows that if you look at these creatures that's what's going to kill you made no sense whatsoever there was nothing from point A to point like fucking F there like they skipped so many steps along the way and, you know, if you're, you're watching this, you're like, how does anybody know this? Like B.D. Wong uh, going into his loft to stare at computer screens to see if looking at these creatures will have the same effect as looking directly at these creatures. But how does he know that looking at the creatures does anything in the first place? It never really resolves that. And so I felt like there was just so much in this movie that was lost. There was some really good acting with Sandra Bullock, and I did like some of the scenes. Now everybody's sort of comparing this to The Happening, which I have not seen. And they said that there were scenes that were like literally taken right out of The Happening. Well, I couldn't tell you that. Uh, I can only go by what I saw. And what I saw I actually liked as far as the buildup and some of the scenes, some of the tension. Um... Predictability was another problem for me in this movie, like um, when the pregnant girl let in this new guy and, you know, he said that he had escaped some people that were, like, uh, breaking into his place, uh, you kind of knew right off the bat that this was going to be very bad for the group, and that was just a little bit too predictable. Uh, you kind of knew that nobody was going to make it in the end except for Sandra Bullock and the two kids because that's where the movie starts with those three alone. Um, 
So it, it kind of gives you too much information right off the bat in that respect. Like, you, you knew no one was going to make it, no matter how it panned out. Uh, so there were, there were definitely issues that I had with this. Uh, there were a lot of things that didn't make sense. There were a lot of things that they didn't try to explain. Uh, one minute Rosa Salazar and Machine Gun Kelly's characters absolutely hated each other. The next minute they're fucking. Didn't make sense. Um, I mean, I suppose you could, you know, play that off to end of the world type shit, but it, uh, it just did not work for me. So, these are the issues that I had with the movie. Uh, I still think it was a pretty good movie. Um, it was not great, obviously. There were a lot of things I felt like had to be worked out. But at the end of the day, there was still some entertainment to it. There was still some tension to it. Um, I like some of the scenes they created. Uh, her using the line to walk into the house. Um, so, it did have its pros. It certainly had its cons. It, w it was nice for a movie, home alone, you don't have much else to do, uh, to check out. That's what I would recommend it for. And like I said, um, slightly, slightly above average. And I know a lot of people had problems with uh, visual editing and sound editing. I didn't have much of a problem with that. I mean, people like trying to pick apart everything. I'm just going for what's completely plainly obvious. And those are things that I felt like were very obvious. So, overall, I think I'm still going to stick with my 6 out of 10. Because I did like some of the acting. I did like some of the scenes they built up with. I thought it was uh, pretty cool. Now, there were certainly other loose ends that I felt like they needed to work out and didn't. But I'm not going to nitpick. I'm just going to bring what I felt, what I paid attention to. So that's where I'm at. 6 out of 10. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you enjoyed this, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. My name is Kevin Jackowitz, Cage Nation, out.